Former JFF President Tony James is concerned that the JFF's decision not to renew Lauren Donaldson's contract was not made in the best interest of the women's program. More in this report. The controversy continues following the non-renewal of the contract of arguably Jamaica's most successful national women's football coach, Lauren Donaldson, with the JFF. Former JFF President Tony James says both parties allowed their egos to rule the negotiations. James believes the decision was a show of power by the JFF. Listen to all the, the side arguments. They're just side arguments. Mm. The, the bottom line is that the egos couldn't resolve themselves and the JFF uh, decided to flex their muscles and people argued muscles they, didn't, they don't really have for that program, but there's no argument as to who is in charge of JFF and the women's program. Definitely. All of Jamaica's football. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be an argument about that. True. And I think this is what the JFF have um, responded to. The veteran administrator says it's the players who will now have gotten the wrong end of the stick. They feel that Lorne is not loyal to them and it's amazing to me that the little petty egos and petty issues could really lead to a situation where none of the two sides put the girls first, put the girls in the middle and with a CONCACAF qualifying coming up in three weeks I mean, it's like taking a hammer to kill a fly. I mean, the JFF really have outdone themselves. And the former head of local football's governing body also believes the decision to replace Donaldson was always on the cards. Remember, you know, the decision is not now. Mm. A decision was made at the same time they replaced Vin Blaine because they had assessed other candidates. They had chosen other candidates. Lawn was not even, was not the first choice, not even the second choice. Mm. So it's not a decision they have made now. They made a decision a long time ago. Mm. What is amazing to me is that big people who love the sport, and I'm convinced both sides love the sport, that they could sit down and not evaluate what has happened from Vin's time till last week and uh, make a decision like that. James was speaking with Christopher Scott on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill on Monday.